What is up guys? I am super excited to announce this. I have a new brand. If you're following me on Instagram, you already know about it. Um, Stay Focused Apparel. Uh, I decided I wanted to make a brand. I've been really thinking about this for about a year now. Uh, of course, I already have Dirty Max Mafia, which uh, I love it. And I'm still gonna be doing that, but it's only driven towards one audience and that's Duramax people. Um, not everyone follows me for Duramaxes, although most of my following started out as that. That's not the case now. Um, so that's not going anywhere, guys, but I wanted to create something for a lot of you. Um, this applies to basically everyone, uh, unless you're someone that just wants everything handed to them or you know they don't wanna work for anything. Obviously, you got D-Max Rhino work for it. Super motivational brand, awesome brand. Um, Jack, you got enthusiast, awesome as well. And this is my brand, Stay Focused Apparel. It's exactly what the name is. Stay Focused applies to basically everything, whether you're into fitness, which clearly I'm not. I look like Luke Combs now, I guess. Um, but anyways, um, fitness, life in general, any goals you have, any personal goals. So it's not just trucks, it's not just cars. It's not anything in particular. It's basically everything. So that's what I wanted to create. I wanted to reach a bigger market. And I, I do realize people that follow me aren't just following me for trucks. The website should be up later this week. We'll be starting the pre-orders of the shirts, key tags, and decals. And I'll put them up on the screen right now, what everything looks like so far. Uh, everything's not set in stone, but um, the shirts are gonna look similar to that right out of the gate. Of course, we're gonna have all kinds of different designs. We're gonna have hats, hoodies, everything. So I know a lot of you guys are in Northern states, Canada even, we got you guys covered. We're gonna have beanies and, and sweatshirts and all that stuff. So I'm super excited, guys. Do me a favor, go give them a follow on Instagram. Go do that, link is in the description. Stay focused apparel. What is up, guys? Welcome to the channel. Before I get started, please stop saying I look like Luke Combs. I don't sing like him. I don't look like him. He's got red hair and he weighs like 80 pounds more than me and he's shorter than me. Relax. But uh, anyways, we got some exciting news here for the channel, for the Cummins especially. Uh, we got all the parts are coming in. Part you're about to see just came in yesterday. I know you guys are really going to love this, so let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to go ahead and show you what we got real quick. I got a lot of stuff ordered. I think you guys are really going to like this, so here it is. Boom. So, you may be wondering. What is it? It's a roll pan. The Cummins is gonna get a roll pan. Um, I think these trucks really pull off the roll pans. Second gen just look, really look good with them. Um, I'm not a huge fan of roll pans in general for just any truck, but I really think the second gen can pull them off. Of course, we got a new bumper on its way. We got new grill being built right now. Big things to look forward to on the channel. The Cummins kind of been neglected, so uh, it's her turn. Well, of course, we're not gonna forget about the Duramax, but it's her turn for the most part right now to kind of get a facelift. This one came black. Of course, I'm gonna be wrapping it white. This one didn't come bent or anything, like dented or anything, but it did come pretty scratched up. So if you guys are wanting to buy a black one off eBay, I don't know if all of them come like this, but uh, just know that it might come scratched up and you might have to paint it or wrap it anyways. So um, not a big deal for me because I'll be wrapping it. But right now we are about to bring this Epic wraps here in Panama City. I don't have the patience to do it right now, and uh, I want it to be perfect, so I'm gonna have them do it. Super light. You can get those uh, roll pans in like a fiberglass or plastic, I think. Um, I just went with a steel one. Not that it's really gonna help as far as strength goes, it's pretty thin steel. But I, I couldn't find a fiberglass one I wanted and they're a little bit more expensive. Um, I was looking for a white one already, I could not find them. I literally could not find them. I, I found one on eBay and it wasn't in stock anymore. And I also found one on Amazon that wasn't available either. Whew. It is a chilly one today, about 95. Let's do a cold start. so loud my god all right guys we are back home from dropping off the roll pan he actually told me he'd have it done tomorrow morning so so i'm going to start working on the, the bumper on the cummins which should be fairly easy i think it's like six bolts and pull that thing off get it ready to go and then we'll go ahead 
and pick up the roll pen tomorrow in the Duramax. All right, guys, well, we're gonna go ahead on outside and get started on that bumper, pull it off, and uh, see what's up. So I'm actually waiting on the roll pan right now. We had a problem with the material I ordered. It's actually not made for wrapping. It's made for like signs and stuff like that, so it's not able to stretch like it should. So in the next video, you guys are gonna see me take off the bumper, put the new roll pan on. That way you guys get to see what it looks like. Um, my goal was to do that for this video, but of course, um, we had a little hiccup waiting for it, but I know it's gonna look great having a roll pan on this truck. And like I said, it's not usually been my thing to do roll pans, but um, I think these trucks really pull it off. So Cummins is coming along. We got stuff on its way. Got quite a bit of stuff in the garage right now. Like just the garage is loaded up with stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>